Hi, my name is Tyler Cobb, and I'm with Plasma Processes in Huntsville, Alabama. The tech talk I will be presenting today looks at coding technology solutions that we have developed specifically geared towards hypersonic surfaces as well as hypervelocity projectiles. These coding improvements that we have developed enable higher performance gains to be realized in, in these fields and we believe are of sufficient interest to the Navy as well as DOD for pushing the performance levels of existing weapon systems as well as developing new, uh, longer range, faster weapon systems. A little bit about plasma processes. Plasma Processes is a small business located in Huntsville, Alabama, with around 40 full-time employees, of which a quarter of them are engineering staff. We have, for over 20-plus years, worked on developing new technologies and transitioning SBIR technologies into commercial products. At any given time, we run approximately a 50-50 mix of research and development work to commercial orders. We specialize in producing parts and coatings for extreme environment applications, as well as working with high temperature materials such as refractory metals and uh, high temperature ceramics. We have several unique production processes in-house, the first of which is electroforming, also known as L-form. This is a uh, electroplating technique that takes place in molten salt solutions. This is, uh, this is a process unique to us and is used to process materials that traditionally cannot be electroplated in, uh, in an aqueous environment. Uh, for this technique, we specialize in processing platinum group metals. Our other core production technique is plasma spray. Of this, we have two unique variants, vacuum plasma spray, where we are able to process oxygen sensitive materials as well as substrates and air plasma spray which we commonly use to produce oxide ceramic coatings. We also have two other minor production processes, cold spray, for which cases a customer may want to process a material in a solid state manner, and then laser powder bed fusion was recently added where we are focusing on printing refractory metal parts. Mission objective. Currently, the Navy is pursuing hypersonic projectiles for multiple missions and uh, use of, across multiple platforms. Current HVP nose tips rely on low density ablator materials such as carbon-carbon, which can make stable flight difficult due to their low mass, or metals that suffer from oxidation during flight, which results in a shape change at the nose tip, which again can affect stable flight. This effort looks to develop material solutions for nose tips that can survive longer term aggressive environments to satisfy Navy mission requirements. For this effort, we specifically set out to design materials that could withstand a high heat flux over 4,500 BTU foot squared seconds at launch, high thermal shock loads, high stagnation temperatures, as well as operate at oxidative conditions due to a sea level launch requirement. Additionally, projectile launches see very high G loading greater than 30,000 Gs, which can make uh, material survivability a significant challenge. With the Navy developing new weapon systems that are increasing operational range and velocity, there is a significant need for new material solutions to be developed that will enable these high-speed weapon systems to be fielded successfully. Currently, the Navy has significant interest in long-range projectiles that can provide surface fire support, missile defense, and conventional strike application support to Navy missions. For this effort, we had a materials development goal of producing nose tips that are of high density, had a small nose tip radius, were majorly non-ablative, and affordable. 
the goal of having a non-ablative material on the nose tip that can maintain a small radius was to ensure that there would be stable flight of a projectile. The material solution developed by plasma processes on this effort was a multi-layered coating solution that was applied to a refractory metal substrate. While refractory metals are ideal nose tip materials for hypervelocity projectiles due to their high density, generally greater than 15 grams per cubic centimeter, they have one significant drawback, which is they are very susceptible to oxidation at high temperatures. Any sort of hypervelocity projectile application will see significant aerothermal heating at the nose tip, and hence these refractory metals will exhibit significant shape changes in the nose tip geometry. This is very bad for stable flight dynamics and achieving accurate trajectories. This is where our coating solution comes in. We were able to successfully apply our multi-layered coating onto a refractory metal substrate and then test the material solution in a representative flight environment in an ArcJet facility. The image at the bottom of the slide shows a representative hyper hypervelocity projectile nose tip being tested under flight conditions. And as you can see, the very tip of the nose tip exhibits a very stable geometry, which matches uh, the machined geometry of the part. This shows that the coatings were able to successfully protect the refractory metal during the flight conditions. The current status of this technology. The bulk of this technology was developed on a phase two Navy SBIR that was completed in mid-2020 after plasma processes fabricated and tested several different material stackups and evaluated them in a launch-relevant environment within an ARCJET facility. We believe the leading technology concept is now at a TRL of a 5 or a 6. Since the SBIR concluded, we have successfully transitioned some of the technology developed on this program to an Army long-range munition program where we have had success, successful lab-scale testing of the technology as well as a successful strength of design full-size uh, full munition test. We are currently unaware of any current Navy programs that could benefit from this technology, but believe that it is very applicable to any new long-range projectiles that the Navy is currently developing. The major advantage of this technology is the coatings developed by plasma processes will enable projectiles to achieve higher velocities and maintain stable flight conditions, therefore increasing kill probability of the projectile. The coatings that we have developed have been successfully tested in simulated launch conditions uh, outlined by the Navy. Um, we believe our technology has achieved a greater density than the Navy challenge. Uh, we have demonstrated no shape change when testing the material solution in an operationally relevant environment. We can protect the base substrate to see little to no oxidation, and we believe our technology can achieve costs that are very reasonable for production programs. Uh, we believe we're approximately at two-thirds of the baseline costing uh, for these components. While this technology was specifically developed for hypervelocity projectiles, we believe this technology is applicable to any high-temperature extreme environment application that could exist across the fleet. Um, specific areas where this material system would be very useful outside of HVP would be hypersonic vehicles or surfaces that are seeing hypersonic flow. Any uh, refractory metal applications where oxidation protection is required, missile system components such as nose tips, fins, strakes, or any other control surface, and, and high temperature aero shells for any sort of high speed flight vehicle. We believe our, our coding material technology 
significantly advances oxidation protection in high G loading environments compared to existing solutions. And we believe that this technology can also provide significant benefits to uh, control surfaces, enabling the use of traditional metallics for higher velocity flight conditions. While this technology was successfully tested in operationally relevant environments, it is currently searching for a new program to uh, find an insertion opportunity. While we saw positive results from the technology, the Navy has uh, decided to move away from the railgun and hypervelocity projectiles for the railgun, uh, leaving this coding uh, solution without a home. Plasma Processes um, believes this technology could be easily integrated into another uh, system solution with uh, additional funding where we would optimize design for that program specific application. Additionally, Plasma Processes seeks to be a subcontractor to a integration prime to provide our coding technology onto uh, components or subcomponents. And we currently have facilities in place for uh, development as well as initial low rate production of any sort of munition systems. Additionally, we believe this technology is very applicable to other high temperature applications for thermal protection. And we may be able to directly apply this onto some uh, simpler geometry parts with little to no development work needed. I'd like to thank you for attending my tech talk and leave you with this. Plasma Processes is a high temperature and extreme environment materials solution provider. If you are seeking to operate at higher temperatures or fly at faster velocities, we have material solutions that can be applied to your system. If you have a specific question or a specific program where you're facing material challenges, uh, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be around the uh, conference, and uh, my cell is listed below if, if you'd like to schedule a one-on-one -on -one meeting uh, while I'm here to discuss your material needs and see what solutions we can offer you. Thank you for attending.